Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka, Kordash. Double honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to the elect. This is the brother Kassad speaking. And I'm going to read the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 1. It says, And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him an hundred forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. Okay. Um, It says, A lamb stood on Mount Zion, and that lamb is Yahweh Shai. Okay. Yahweh Shai is called the lamb because lambs are peaceful animals, harmless animals. When a lamb is slaughtered, contrary to what a goat does, it's slaughtered in quietness. Okay? And Yahweh Shai, he was. He was a lamb for the for the, the children of Israel. He became that lamb, that, that unblemished lamb that was sacrificed for our sins, man. Yahweh Shai died for the sins of you Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Are you Israelites scattered amongst these other nations? Okay. It said, and with him in hundred and forty and four thousand. That's the governing body of the of the uh, kingdom of heaven, the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay. It said, which is twelve thousand out of each of the twelve tribes of Israel. You can read about that in Revelation the seventh chapter. It says, having his father's name written in their foreheads, which is the heavenly father's name is Yahweh. The scriptures say what that um, whosoever shall call. On the name of the Lord shall be saved. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Okay. You're not going to be delivered without calling on those names. There is no salvation in any other name, man. Okay. It says, and I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung, as it were, a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. All right. And that and um, this is the elect praising the most high man. When the most high delivers his elect, beginning with the one hundred forty four thousand. But then you have the, the one third, you know pursuant to Zechariah 12 and 8, all right? And also, you know, when you read Revelation 7 chapter, behind the 144,000, a great multitude, which that multitude consists of the one-third of the children of Israel, okay? And in that time, you know, we're praising the Most High now, but, you know, when we actually delivered from the hand of our enemies, delivered out of the hand of our enemies, we're going to praise the Lord, man, with songs, you know, with, uh, like it says here, um, harping with their harps, you know. And it said no man can learn that song but the 144,000, all right, because this truth is only for the elect, man. All right, this truth is only for the elect. It's not for the two-thirds, man. The two-thirds of the nation of Israel, they're not going to, Receive this knowledge. They're not going to humble themselves and repent and apply these scriptures. They're not going to fear the Lord. They're not going to be sorrow. They're not going to feel sorrow for for all the wickedness that they did. That's why no man can learn that song with the hundred forty four thousand man, because the truth is is only for the elect. Only the elect is going to wake up, man. That's why we go out there, you know, Lord willing, you know, today's Saturday we're going to go out there. By the grace of the Lord's will, we're going to go out there today and do the work. This troop is only for the elect, man. we only out there for the elect. You know, you got these other nations. You got Vocab Malone. You got niggas trying to come up and debate. Listen, man. 
you know, this this truth, you know, the scriptures say you can't gain Satan or resist, man. You know, you can do nothing against the truth except for it, man. You know, you wasted your time. This truth is not for you, man. The doctrine is never going to change, man. You know, the scriptures are never going to change. The Lord is never going to change. He said what? He said, He's only he's only going to deliver the elect, man. You know, a remnant shall be saved. Okay. So, to wrap this up, I'm going to give all praises on and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And double honors to the apostles and all this great millstone for teaching us these scriptures. And our Lord willing, this lesson was edified. Until next time, I'm going to say Shalom.